Welcome to another autogram video and a couple weeks ago I got a comment from Young Jukebox asking if I could make a follow up video on how to study other MCs and that's a good suggestion because studying other MCs pro MCs that are already good at what you're trying to get good at is one of the best ways to get better, it's one of the best ways to learn so how can we do this well it's always good to start by isolating the skill that you actually want to improve so is it your delivery is it your flow is it your ability to structure a song your ability to use multi-syllable rhymes your ability to have better punchlines and wordplay etc pick an mc that you already see is good at this skill and that you already listen to you don't want to make this a chore or homework or anything like that something you already do listening to other mcs so just pick an mc that you see is good at this skill that you want to learn okay so for example a couple months ago i was really trying to improve my storytelling when it comes to uh, writing bars and lyrics and an mc a uk hip-hop artist that i really like is uh kalashnikov so i just started listening to him a bit more studying his stuff a bit more because i realized that he's really good at storytelling and he's got the type of style of storytelling that i wanted to develop so i started studying his music and listening to his music a lot more and my storytelling improved from that so just do the exact same thing right pick an artist that you already listen to now that's already good at the skill that you're trying to master and improve upon and listen to that artist right point number two that i'm going to make when it comes to studying other mcs is use the remix method all this simply is is picking a song that you really like that you really resonate with and then remixing it that song getting that song in front of you and remixing it because with this method not only are you actually learning the techniques that your favorite mcs use but you're actively practicing those techniques and practicing those techniques is what's going to help you learn from your favorite mcs what's going to help you study them and get it into your head so pick a song that you really like and you're going to deconstruct it and remix it turn it into your own song write different bars for it maybe to the same beat and sometimes what you find with the remix method is that the song sounds completely different from the original because you've completely made it your own song you know because you're not you're not trying to copy the song here you're changing it you're making it your own song you're just trying to learn how it is that they made such a sick song how it is that they structured their lyrics how it is that they flow or when do when did they change their flow stuff like that and the remix method is really important for learning all those things it's uh, active learning it's actually deconstructing lyrics uh, listening and trying to make the song your own so use that if you want to study uh, other mcs a lot better okay point number three last point i'm going to make on this topic of studying other mcs is ask questions loads and loads of questions questions like how um how do they structure the lyrics how do they structure the songs when do they switch the flow if ever what kind of rhyme schemes are they using what kind of artists do they feature what kind of topics do they talk about what kind of beats do they use so on and forth so forth right these questions are designed to get you thinking in a problem solving way and get you thinking how it is that your favorite mc does what it is they're doing and how you can do it yourself right so ask these questions when you listen when you're studying the mcs don't just listen to the song don't just try and uh, look at the lyrics and read the lyrics have these questions in mind and when you're using the remix method that's when you get to answer a lot of these questions and get to understand how to throw a punchline in how to throw a wordplay in because you're asking how did he use wordplay right there how what did he do how did he do that and you're thinking about it and then you go to the remix method and try to remix it deconstruct it and do it yourself and you figure out oh he did this this and that right he put the punchline there for that reason he switched the flow when he said punchline he emphasized the rhyme that time um he used a different delivery when he was talking of a about an emotional subject but he used another delivery when he was talking of a less emotional subject so on and so forth right you start figuring these things out so ask these questions when you're studying your uh, favorite mcs to get better to better understand what it is that they're doing and studying other mcs will become dramatically easier for you but really short video that's it for today um hope you found it valuable if you've got any suggestions for any future videos put them down in the comments i'm always welcome to those suggestions and if there's anything you'd like to add on this topic of studying other mcs comment also i'd like to hear your opinion on this and also a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel once again and with all that being said i'll see you in the next video peace